Well, here we are with activity 4-5, and you finally got to problem number 52 and got stumped. Don't feel bad. I thought this was kind of a confusing problem, too, especially since we have been doing, um, if you draw one card and then you draw another one, what's the probability that you'll get, you know, two aces in a row or something like that, and you have to take it down. Tendency in this problem is to think sequentially instead of thinking possibilities. That's what you might... Yeah, that's what me, your humble teacher, did the first time I look at this. So you have to think about how many ways you could arrive at a royal flush, a straight flush, four of a kind, and a full house. First off, you have to know what a royal flush is. Royal flush consists of the same suit, and it goes from 10, jack, queen, king, and aces are high. There's only four possibilities in a deck of cards. So a royal consists of the highest cards of each suit. Thus, there's four possibilities in uh, four possible royal flushes in a deck of cards. So your answer for this first part is just there's only four royal flushes. Now, straight flush is where you have five cards in sequence of the same suit. So seven, eight, nine, ten, and jack. There's four suits, clubs, spades, diamonds, and hearts, and nine possible straights. How do I come up with nine? Well, here's just one of the denominations. Here's the denominations of the hearts. Denomination means ace, two, three, and so on. Well, if we take, the, if we take ace through five, that's one straight. Then you have two through six, and then three through seven, and then four through eight, and then five through nine. If you count these up, there's nine possible straights. And it can always go, it can go all the way up, nine through the king. That's nine possible straights. So we would just take four times nine and get 36 possible straights in a deck of cards. That's it. We're only counting the number of possibilities. The third one you're asked to find is how many four of a kinds could you have in a deck of cards? So four of a kind means four of the same denomination, like four fours, four aces, four twos, and so on. So there's 13 denominations. And then after four of a kind, there's 48 other choices for the last card. So the possible hands are 13 times 48, which is 624 possible four of a kind hands. Lastly, they ask you to figure out how many full house hands you could possibly have. And this is where I kind of ran into a little difficulty, but I get it now, so hopefully I can explain it to you. A full house is three of a kind and two of a kind. Now, for a full house, you have 13 possibilities when you draw the first one and 12 possibilities for the second. So right away, we have 13 times 12. But to get three of a kind, realize that you have four, choose three. So out of those 13 denominations, you've got four fours, five, uh, four fives, four sixes, and so on. So you're doing four, choose three, and that would be four, choose three in your combination. And two of a kind would be four, choose two, which is four, choose two, because there's four eights, there's four nines, and so on. So the other part of this uh, to figure out your number of possibilities would be Four choose three and four choose two. And that's all there is to it. Oh, that's 3744 possible full house hands. Bye.